Yehi Ratzon, Parashat Bechukotai, 5782, Limud should be L'Refuat, Kol Acholim, Uvetocham Tani Bat Hodam Agalit, Yosef Yair Ben Aviv Achava, Arav Sivan Ben Sima, Betor Kol Shah Chulei Yisrael. Parashat Bechukotai, the ending of Sefer Vayikra, coming after Lag Omer, getting ready for Yom Yerushalayim, a lot of things going on. We want to connect it to two words in our Parsha. So we know the Parsha opens up with a very, very big statement. Im telechu, bet mitzvotai tishmo. It starts off with this idea that we have an obligation, a responsibility, a privilege to keep all the mitzvot. And it starts off with the first reward being v'natati gishmechem be'itam. And I'll give you your reigns in their time. And so there are two questions that the Sfat Emet wants to understand. Why is it that the first reward for doing all the mitzvot is geshem? And the second, the language is not exactly simple because geshem is assumably an objective thing and you can't call it lachem, shelachem. It's sort of v'natati Geshem beito. It's not your reigns. And so the Sfarimet explains that Gishmechem beitam teaches us a very new idea in the language. That we would think that Geshem is something that's objective. That it's this liquid that comes from the sky and sustains the world. It teaches us the Sfarimet that the use of the language Gishmechem is to teach us that it's subjective, that the idea of the reward is that everyone has their own different Geshem. Everyone has their own different symbolic Geshem that's needed for them. And that the real reward is that Hashem helps us recognize our uniqueness and our difference. That Hashem does not give us all the same thing and He doesn't give us all the same Geshem. Every one of us need a different ability, a different relationship with Shemaim that helps and enables us to be ourselves. And that is the greatest reward in the world. Not to get a present that everyone gets, but to get something that's fully aware of you and that makes you aware of yourself. And I know that there was a time that I decided that I had to leave a high school and the head of the high school that I was teaching in, the end of the year, gave me a present. And the present he gave me was one of these uh, spachtels. Spachtel is something that you use to put the um, cement for a building. And, you know, you have to, like, act nice. So I was like, oh, thank you so much. This is such a beautiful present. You know, underneath my breath, I was saying, like, I'm not a builder. Like, I have no idea what this present is. And after he left, I saw in the back of it that it said that this was the first spachtel. This was the first cement thing that they used to build the new school that Bezrat Hashem, or Eitan, will start going to next year. And he said to me on the letter that the, that spachtel, that um, cement thing that you put the cement down with, um, was symbolically something that he wanted me to feel, that maybe I didn't put the physical cement, but that even though I was leaving the high school, that I would still feel that there was something I put there that had significance for the future of the students. And that made me feel that it was something that was specific to me, that it was personal to me. And so the why is Geshem the first thing? And the answer for that is that when rain comes down, doesn't make everything the same. It makes an apple tree an apple tree and an orange tree an orange tree. And I think that that's what we have to realize is maybe the opposite of what Lag Omer was. Lag Omer, the fire, was to unite all of us. Yerushalayim as a city does not belong to any tribe because it unites all of us. But the idea of this unity 
is that it's not meant to disable. It's not meant to make us all think the same and be the same and add the same thing and compare ourselves. It's supposed to be something that enables us to realize that our individuality and personality is making the unity something that's beautiful and it's giving it its flavor and its taste. Just like a pot is so beautiful because it lets all the pieces come inside. But what makes the pot something that we want is that everything that's inside of it is its own being. That a carrot is not a cucumber and that a cucumber is not a zucchini and that they all together can make different colors and different tastes. So Bezrat Hashem, the brachas we end Sefer Vayikra, the Sefer of Kedusha, the Sefer that dealt with the unity of Am Yisrael, that we end off with Gishmechem, Be'itam. That the idea is that the unity is meant to make us realize that our special, unique personalities is making Am Yisrael so much better and so much greater, Bezrat Hashem.